instructor of a new course being taught for the first time in January 2008 called SI-182, The Design of Information Environments. We designed this course with the a, with a thought that as you go forward, you're going to be drowning in a sea of information with gigabytes that you can store on a USB stick. That's going to have data. And the problem with data is it often is ugly. It's not quite right. It's not quite ready to be just dropped into a spreadsheet and taken a look at. You might be pulling it down from the internet. It might have some commas or some tabs that are just wrong, or it might have all kinds of things wrong with it. So it turns out that one really good way to handle complex and nasty, ugly data is to write simple programs to transform that data. Now you might later put it in a spreadsheet, but you've got to do something to gather the data, to clean it up the data, to transform the data, etc. So we're going to teach you programming. This is a programming class, and it's a beginning programming class aimed at people with absolutely no programming experience whatsoever. In the first half of the class, we'll do a lot of in-lab work. I'm coming to you right now from the lab that we're going to work in. It's a wonderful dinner theater format where we have little groups of four around a series of tables, and it's easy to move from table to table so we can make the labs very interactive and very responsive to the issues that you're going to run into as you're learning the language that we're working with called Python. The other thing we're going to do is use a lot of podcasts, especially in the first half of the course, so that you can reinforce the essential concepts of the first half of the course as many times as you need to, or if you carry around your iPod or your iPhone or whatever, your video iPod, you can watch them over and over again as much as you need. Because we understand that students will come in with differing backgrounds. We're aiming the course at the beginning programming student with absolutely no programming experience. And so you may need to listen to these podcasts several times, but we think it's really important that you learn the material. And so I'd like, to, I'd like you to join us. We really would like a diverse set of, of undergraduates from freshmen to seniors from various majors, um, not just technical people. We'd like social scientists. We'd like physicists. We'd like people from bioinformatics. So we really would like to see a wide range of people because we think that this data class is actually useful. And of course, this class is just an elective, but that's OK. We think it's a useful elective. We think it's an interesting elective. We think it's something that you'll find useful for your whole life. And I hope that you enjoy taking the class, because I certainly know that I'm going to enjoy teaching the class. So I hope to see you in January.